Well, the only thing we need to make the weekend great is some great weather. Hopefully I think you we're can in deliver. good shape. We're in good shape. Okay. That being said, a stray shower or two may have to be dodged uh, both days this weekend. Okay. If you're north of 96, it's going to be tomorrow. If you're south, it's going to be Sunday. That right. being said, I think the weekend is still shaping up to be pretty great. This evening, we're going to give it two thumbs up. Mainly clear skies out there right now. A great evening to be out. Tomorrow, I'm going to keep it one thumb up. A few more clouds and north of 96, there will be an isolated shower or two that develops. Not everybody sees rain. In fact, I think most of us will stay dry, but there will likely be a shower or two that pops up. Now, come Sunday, we're going to keep it a thumbs up. The chance for rain moves a little bit further south. But that chance for rain goes down some. You'll see it on future track coming up in just a bit. On campus right now, lots of sunshine, a great looking picture, 83 degrees. So temperatures are a notch warmer than they were this time yesterday, but really no complaints out there. Upper 70s in Mason and Howell, also that in Hillsdale. Aside from that and uh, cold water as well, everybody in the low to mid 80s. Tomorrow will be closer to the mid 80s for a highs, so that warm trend continues to creep up some. It will stay in the mid-80s for a few days before some cold fronts return next week. High pressure, though, in command overhead, giving way to fair skies. To our north, there are some showers and a couple of thunderstorms in parts of the UP approaching uh, Traverse City this evening. All this with a cold front will slide further south come tomorrow, giving us the chance for some rain. And I emphasize the word chance because I think most of us will stay dry. But we'll time it out hour by hour on future track. Overnight, all is quiet. Waking up first thing Saturday here at 8 a.m. should be a nice looking start to the day. Heading into the afternoon, you can see some uh, clouds and a few showers eventually approaching. If you're north of I-96, you may run into a stray shower or two in the later afternoon. These will not be out there long. They're expected to fade away as we head closer to sunset as they try to drift southward. But again, I think most of us will stay dry. Come Sunday, waking up with just a few clouds, but it should be a mainly dry day for just about everybody. That being said, if you're down near 94, especially down near the state line, another stray shower or two could develop. Again, most of us, if not all of us, stay dry. The chance for any raindrops to hit you this weekend are pretty slim. But that being said, we'll have to keep a close eye on those as we head throughout the weekend. So just a pretty slim chance for some rain. The best chance for rain in the next seven by far is both Tuesday and Thursday of next week with two cold fronts that come through. Following the cold front on Thursday, we're going to see a little bit of a dip in temperatures. We're talking highs back in the upper 70s. You'll see it coming up in the seven day. So tonight, mainly clear skies, a nice night. Again, give the AC a break once the sun goes down. Open up the windows, get some fresh air in as we dip back into the upper 50s for lows. Tomorrow, mid 80s with a couple of isolated showers later in the afternoon north of 96. I think most will stay dry, but a couple of showers out there that you may have to dodge. Don't cancel your plans, but go ahead and have a backup plan to go indoors just in case. Mid 80s for highs. Come Sunday, that chance for rain is still there, but it's smaller and it's further south. The best chance by far Tuesday and Thursday of next week. Showers and thunderstorms are looking likely. Then we dip back into the upper 70s for highs both Thursday and Friday. The weekend, though, I'll keep your plans, keep your, everything yeah. going. It should be nice out there. All right, okay. sounds like it, Brett. Thank you.